What's up, everybody? Viper here. Today we're in Miss Survival, and uh, we're gonna go over food. Uh, I guess some people do have a problem with uh, getting food and making sure they're not uh, starving and stuff. And over here at the motel where we are right now, there's always usually a bear, and he's a good source of meat, guts for your bow and leather, and he's not really that hard to kill. Um, you could poke him with a stick, or shoot him with a gun, or a bow, or whatever you have. But once you, uh, once you get him, hell, you can even use a, uh, a shield if you really wanted to. If you use a shield and just back up, he, he won't actually hurt you. So however you want to kill this guy, poke him with a stick, whatever, uh, he's pretty easy to kill. But to uh, get the meat from him, you go into Harvest, just click E on him, and then select the uh, torso, and then just grab some meat, I'm just going to grab a couple, and then we're going to butcher it, and it's going to take 60 minutes. Now just to make sure the, the infected don't come in, I like to uh, kind of duck down so I can see the the rest of the terrain and we're just gonna grab like four pieces alright so we got bear we can get meat from there is chickens and we'll just go to a quick spot that's close by um, this one's kinda hard to uh, it's not on any other maps but we're at the motel and we're gonna take this left right here and then you're going to go to the very end of the road where it tees off right here and then we're just gonna go up this little mountain there is a bear up here as well but it's usually stuck and then sometimes chickens like will spawn like over and over up here so I kinda like to go up here and Get a bow. And just get as many chickens as I want. I mean, there's... There's three, four, five, six chickens, I guess? So that's enough. We only really needed one. Oh, man. Alright, so we got a chicken. I'm gonna get my arrows. But sometimes this place is kind of crazy with how many chickens it'll drop. And you kill them all, and then more will just keep spawning in sometimes. Just be careful when you're coming down the mountain. And there is a bear up there, but he's never bothered me because he's always been stuck in the mountains. And sometimes you'll see deer up here as well. But I usually don't even bother with deer just because their hitbox is so wacky that uh, it's just not worth my time. Alright, so we got my deer, or we got a, we got some bear meat, and we got some chickens. So let me go back, and uh, we need some rope to make a, a drying rack. So if you have an axe or a sledgehammer, you can break these. And they're going to give you some rope and sticks and leaves. But you need, like, I think two rope and seven sticks to make a drying rack. And if you want to make a, uh, to actually cook the meat, you'll need a campfire and a grill stand. Which you'll need a hammer for that. Alright, I'm over here at the White House. To build a campfire, you're going to need to build, get us some branches and some stones. And you'll find stones and uh, the branches on the ground. Now if you turn off your... your foliage down to low, it'll make it a whole lot easier to find the sticks and all the other stuff that's just laying on the ground. So let me grab eight stones real quick. Alright, we're just going to build the stuff in here. 
because it's uh, nobody's gonna bother you inside this little garage. So we're just gonna build a little campfire. Six branches, eight stone. And then we're also gonna go into uh, the food right here. We're gonna build a grill stand. And this grill stand was four scrap and one uh, component. And you can find those by breaking up those little tinted window cars with an axe or a sledgehammer. And then we're also gonna build a drying rack. And that needs two ropes and seven sticks. And to take those sticks, these regular branches, and turn them into sticks, you go into your inventory menu and crafting and make some uh, actual sticks. All right, so we got a drying rack, and then we got a campfire. Now, when you look at your campfire, you got a starter, tender, and accelerant. The starter is your matches. Uh, the accelerant is this low-grade fuel, or you can put a gas can in it, either one. And the tender is your bark. And then fuel, you're going to have to chop up wood, which is right here in your inventory, or you can use one of those tree, tree blocks. All right, so it's ready to go, and with the accelerant, you get 100%, so I usually always have an accelerant in there. All right, since you got your little fireplace and your grill stand and the drying rack, it's time to put some meat on there. Now, if you go into your inventory and you click this little harvest thing, we're going to go ahead and harvest this chicken. And you just drag it over here, and you have to have a knife, and it's going to tell you what you're going to get out of it. You're going to get four small meat, two animal fat, and then uh, six feathers. And I don't really need his fat and his feathers. Um, but you'll need that if you want to make low-grade fuel and all that with the cooking pot. So if you want to cook this meat, you go ahead and uh, ignite it. And then you just just drop your food onto the, uh, the grill stand. And then you really have to sit there and watch it. So it's going to take a few minutes for this stuff to cook. All right, the chicken's done. All right, your big animal meat is uh, well done. Cook everything to well done. So we got four chicken legs and one big old steak of meat. Now we're going to need to put some uh, some meat on a drying rack. So you go into your inventory. You're going to need salt for this and these big animal fat. To get salt, you farm the infected or find it through looting. And you go over here to this dry meat. And then we're just going to... Do four at a time just because of my inventory space. And then you can also craft this straight while you're in the uh, the drying rack itself. And then those three meat gave us uh, 12, 12 meats. And right now we have plenty of food that'll last us quite a long time. Um, a lot of people eat way too much in this game. Really, you don't need to eat that much. Um, God damn it. So there we got our dry meat. Now we got to wait for it to go raw into uh, dried. And it will take 24 hours, you know, game time for it to dry out. Guts take, I think, five days. And then your hide takes two. But tomorrow at 1427, this meat should be uh, dry and ready to eat. You can also cook it, but then it burns it and it's just not as good so just dry your meat and if you wanna if you have a bunch of drying racks you can let it go way past zero and as long as you eat it from the uh, the drying rack it'll still be good and if you've already cleared out all of the the fruit and beef cans and all this other stuff you can farm infected or bandits to uh, to get cans of food and you can get broccoli and apples and carrots from the bandits and potatoes you can get from the actual infected. Now for me to farm infected, I'll at least build me a 3x3 three three with at least one fence, if not more. Um, but I really like to use a 4x4 four four, or no, a 5x5 five five with the fence in the middle just so they don't stack up in one little spot because they're always going to be attracted to this gate. Let me bring in some infected. Alright, it's 2300. We 
should have some uh, infected running around. Let me go ahead and put up the, the call to the infected. And here they come. And then you just get a nice little poker stick and then just poke them in the face. And you can come up with some really elaborate ways to uh, collect these guys. You could have an additional fences that go out so you can safely harvest them. But this usually works just fine for me. I just jump up here, duck down, and then uh, collect all the stuff off them that I want. And then when they start getting too, uh, you know, piled up too much, I just open the gate and it gets rid of them for me. Now at night you're going to see way more infected, so you have to be a little bit more careful than you will during the day. And they just kind of line up for you and uh, it's pretty easy to uh, farm them. And you can get potatoes or canned fruit from uh, these guys. I can't remember if you can get chocolate bars or not. So we've got more canned fruit, more potatoes. We're getting quite a bit of salt from these dudes. Alright, let's go over to the little one. Now when you're just using this uh, 3x3, you really got to be careful with uh, how close you stand at the gate. I love it at night. You just get so many of these dudes. More potatoes. And these potatoes are actually really good in uh, if you eat like a several of them for food. Alright, that's enough. That's enough infected. Alright, it is night time. And I'm going to go ahead and eat something. You can survive off of one can of fruit per day. Or like one animal meat. or You don't need to be eating like all kinds of food. Basically, as long as you get your, your hunger bar somewhere around a third, you can go through the next day completely starving, and you're not going to die. Like, I'm not going to eat all day, and then we're going to go go over and farm a little bit of bandits, just so you can see the, the food you get from those guys. And But we will be drinking water throughout the day. So another place you can get food from is the bandits. Now from these guys you can get beef cans, broccoli, apples, carrots. I think you can get fruit cans as well and chocolate bars. For the infected you're just going to get fruit cans and potatoes. But the potatoes you have to cook. This stuff up here, the broccoli, apples, and uh, carrots, you can eat those raw. Or you can save them up and make those soups, but those soups are kind of a pointless. I'd rather just eat either chicken or the dried meat. And usually just throw away the potatoes too, but they're really good if you really are pushing for, hurting for food. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and run to the city real quick. I'll bring you back in a second and I'll show you how I farm the, uh, the bandits. Alright, I like to come here in the city to farm the bandits just because there's so many of them. There's, you know, anywhere from 8 to, uh, I think up to 12 or 13, even more. And I'll usually build this thing here with a cabin, because the cabin is what's going to attract them. Either a cabin or like a lean-to or something like that. But you're also going to need a little, uh, an NPC. And eventually these guys are going to start coming over here. Now I like my tower, but you can build something simple as this little fence. And if you're on the other side of it, go on, get out of here. Your NPCs won't do anything to help you. Um, but these this bandits, the way the AI is, it's pretty 
They're pretty stupid. Um, you could sit here, and when this dude comes up, you could just poke him and uh, kill him. And as long as you stay ducked down, you're fine. But I really like to use this just so I can, uh, you know, practice my bow skills. And these guys are attracted to this, uh, the cabin. So they're just gonna, you know, slowly walk up over here. Alright, whenever you got them all, you're safe to come down or get out of your little area and then you can just loot these guys and we got a broccoli and oh we got some candy bars we got some ammo got a can of beef got some more salt more ammo got a nice apple And you could do this at any camp. I just like the city just because there's more dudes here. Some more ammo. Forget my arrows. I ain't worried about them. And then, of course, Rachel's just sitting out here in the back. Nothing going on. All right. There's certain things you can eat raw, and there's certain things you can't. The stuff you get from the bandits, it's all safe to eat. Like the broccoli, the apples, the carrots, the chocolate bars, the cans of fruit. The beef cans, everything, all those are safe to eat. But the meat, you want to cook it to well done or dry it on the drying rack and you have to wait for it to actually be dried. Now the potatoes, you have to cook them. The corn, you have to cook. And the tomatoes, you also have to cook. I don't know why, because you just, you know, pluck them off the, the, the stalk and eat them. But you still have to cook those or you could get food poisoning. Alright, we are back at the White House, and I'm just going to go ahead and get in here, and we're going to check on our little drying rack, and it's at 70, 75%, so it should be done pretty soon. We're going to go ahead and sleep, and I haven't bothered to eat, and I'm not going to eat till tonight when we actually go to bed. So we got some infected, and I really don't care about them, but we're going to sleep till... About 1400, so that's. Oh, I slept too long. Alright, so now our drying rack is. Uh, the meat is good. It says dry on it, and if you look at it, it's a different color. Now you can leave it on here on the drying rack, or you can take it off and take it with you, but if you leave it on here, it's going to. Uh, it's going to decay a lot slower. So normally I'll usually leave it on here and uh, just eat it straight from here. But we're going to go ahead and wait till, you know, about 20 hundred. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep till then. Just so you can see how much my health actually drops from not eating at all. Alright, so it's 2100 roughly. We're going to go ahead and eat something. Just because we're going to, we need to fill up our little bit of energy and, uh, be able to have some food in our belly to go to sleep. Now we're just going to eat a can of, can of fruit and drink some water. And then we're going to go to sleep till, you know, about 5 o'clock in the morning. Alright, it's nice and early. Go out and have a full day's of uh, work. And then we're going to go ahead and sleep just so I can pass some time and then show you how long you can actually uh, live off of very little food. Just make sure you stay hydrated when you're you know, when you're out and about. Now once you have a good supply of food and all that you can eat as much as you want but until you're you're good on food you might want to be careful how much you're actually eating. All right, so 2,300. We haven't eaten, not eaten anything. 
All right, it's the next day. We are still starving. Let's go another 12 hours. All right, I need a drink. And then it's f 5 o'clock. So we went several days without eating anything. As long as you're you're staying hydrated, you're not going to lose a whole lot of health. And then whenever you're, you know, finally ready to eat something and got some food, you won't need to eat a, a whole lot to be able to regen your, your health. Now, if you're taking damage, you really want to stay both hydrated and keep your hunger up. So let's just go ahead and eat. You know, let's eat this chicken. It's getting bad. And then drink some water. And then let's go ahead and sleep for about eight hours and see how much our health refills. Alright, so that one chicken leg was enough to give us, you know, a good amount of health. So really you could probably stretch it to a one can every three or four days. So if you're running out of food and miss survival, um, hopefully this will help you get back on track and because finding food is relatively easy once you actually understand all right y'all I went ahead and made this video just because I get a comment every once in a while where someone's having issues with food and it's relatively easy once you you know where to get it so we went over getting it from the bandits the infected the bears the chickens the deer is just the same as the bear which I didn't even bother with because I, I can't stand the deer but you can get the, the same kind of meat from the bear. And then how to cook it. You can also get blueberries. I don't even go over blueberries. I think you can eat like... I think it was 20 something a day. Would it be enough to keep you alive? And a lot of people just eating too much food. And they're running out. And uh, you don't have to eat that much in Miss Survival. But hopefully this will help you... You know, not have to worry about food so much. And, you know, worry about the bugs and... All the other fun things to do in Mist. But hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all later.